Hi guys, good afternoon to all. This is Mike Paduan. We're back to our latest analysis for this uh, Wednesday to Friday, May uh, 3 to 5, 2023. And this is our English version, brought to you by Typhoon 2000 in partnership with Aboitis Power, Bank of the Philippine Islands, Avenue Plaza Hotel, and Naga College Foundation Typhoon Preparedness Center. Let's begin with our update. Here's the latest graph set for today, Wednesday, until uh, tomorrow, Thursday. Uh, tropical uh, disturbance or LPA 93W has begun to uh, cross Visayas and it's now in the vicinity of Southern Negro Sikohor area and uh, the uh, circulation has expanded. Its trough is now reaching Bicol region, Southern Quezon, Mimaropa and also uh, Sulu Archipelago. So expect some isolated to scattered rain showers and thunderstorms throughout the day. But tomorrow afternoon, we expect the uh, rain bands of this LPA to shrink and it will just be concentrated over the vicinity of Sulu, Archipelago, and Palawan. So guys, over Palawan, please take all necessary precautions for possible flooding and landslides between Thursday to Friday or even up to Saturday, depending on the circulation of this LPA, which is expected to slow down and quasi-stationary once it crosses Palawan. And uh, rain bands over the Bicol region in eastern Vis Visayas will uh, start to uh, dissipate and good weather will be expected tomorrow. But afternoon and evening rain showers and thunderstorms will still be present in some areas of Bicol and eastern Visayas. Mindanao will also uh, have the usual thunderstorms in the afternoon and evening every day until May 11. And uh, it's now moving towards the west, this LPA. And the trough is interconnected with another LPA which formed from a surface trough south of Guam. This is LPA 94W but has a lower chances of becoming a tropical depression within the next 24 hours. Actually, most of the computer models who is not developing this system, just this one. Especially the European model, it's likely to become a, a tropical depression here over Palawan. And uh, by Saturday and Sunday to Monday, it will start to depart Palawan and become a tropical storm as it moves towards Vietnam. And there's a possibility based on the European model that it may become a category 1 or category 2 typhoon before making landfall near Da Nang, Vietnam. That will be between May 11 to 12, Thursday or Friday next week. Okay, so folks living in Vietnam, please take all necessary precautions for the approach of this uh, LPA that could become a typhoon. Let's hope that the computer models will change. But the European models all is always perfect when it comes to long-range forecasts. So if they are aggressive, the possibility will be high. Okay, so but uh, we're still uh, hoping that it won't push through. Now, uh, here's the uh, fast animation. So, there you go. This is now the cloudiness, the broad cloudiness of LPA93W. Uh, starting to reorganize of the Sulu Archipelago as it moves towards Palawan. And it will, it will stand by there for the next uh, two to three days. And LPA94W stationary south of Guam. Not expected to develop. And here's the zoom in southern animation. So, southern and central Philippines is bombarded with lots of isolated thunderstorms from Bicol, Southern Quezon, Mimaropa, Visayas, Mindanao. But the bulk of the rainfall will be uh, shifting towards Palawan within the next two days. So, take all necessary precautions for possible flooding there, especially this Friday. And uh, if you take a look at the uh, uh, wind and pressure forecast from the European model, this is the latest from windy.com. By tomorrow afternoon, we have now the uh, LPA 93W reorganizing over Sulu Archipelago as it moves towards northern Palawan. And then on Friday afternoon, it will uh, start to organize into an active LPA or even become a tropical depression once it moves in the vicinity of uh, central Palawan near Puerto Princesa. Saturday afternoon, it could become a strong tropical depression. And winds of 40 to 50 kph will be expected over Palawan, except for Calamian Group. And on Sunday afternoon, uh, that tropical depression will start to move towards the northwest, becoming a tropical storm as it uh, 
uh, nears the Philippine Air Responsibility Team moving away from the country. But, however, the Kalayan Island Group will experience some stormy weather generated by this tropical depression or potential tropical depression still on low pressure as of this time. And on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, it could become a severe tropical storm or even a Category 1 typhoon. And it will be outside of power already on May 10. May 11 and 12, it will be approaching the coastal waters of Da Nang, Vietnam. And it looks like it may become a uh, moderate to small or medium to small typhoon. Either category 1 or 2, uh, around 120 or 150 kph near the center. So this is this could become a uh, damaging cyclone over Vietnam. Let's hope it won't push through since that's uh, the forecast for the next uh, 7 to 8 days. And uh, take note, we are still feeling the effects of La Nina. That's why tropical star- storms tend to uh, develop more strong, more aggressive, developing more aggressive here over the West Philippine Sea and South China Sea because of the effects of uh, warmer sea surface temperature and because of the uh, outgoing La Nina. The post effects are still there. That's why during hot dry season we are still experiencing some heavy rainfall and right now we are experiencing it from tropical disturbance of LP 93W. And on the uh, uh, other side of the Philippine Sea, no uh, LPA already. The LPA 94W will dissipate. Now let's take a look at the rain forecast from windy.com from the European model. So here's now the broad LPA affecting Bicol, Mimaropa, and Visayas, and also portions of Mindanao. Thursday afternoon, it will start to uh, uh, reorganize over the Sulu archipelago with its uh, circulation shrinking and uh, Bicol region, Visayas, and northern Mindanao, Sambuanga Peninsula will still have afternoon and evening rain showers and thunderstorms, but the sun will shine tomorrow morning, let's hope, but with more clouds. Friday afternoon, now the area of central Palawan and southern Palawan will have some intense rainfall ranging from 50 up to 200 millimeters. So take all necessary precautions there for possible flooding and landslides because of the LPA 93W that could stand by there for the next two days until Saturday and it could become a tropical depression. And uh, thunderstorm activity will still prevail in the afternoon or evening across Visayas and Mindanao for Bicol. It will be dry. Okay, but uh, isolated thunderstorms are still possible in some areas, but with lower chances. So Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, until Thursday, May 11, the Philippine Islands will be free from the effects of this uh, potential tropical cyclone. But afternoon, evening, rain showers and thunderstorms will be uh, expected since we are now moving into the middle of or the uh, first two weeks of May and the Agua de Mayo is really a start of the uh, more thunderstorm activity across the Philippine Islands prior to the start of the Habagat or the Southwest Monsoon which will which is likely to up, to arrive uh, last week of May or during June Okay, and before we leave you, here is the latest Global Tropics Hazards Outlook from the Climate Prediction Center of NOAA, issued every Tuesday, and this is today, Wednesday. We have a latest one, week 2 to week 3. For week 2, valid May 10 to May 16, the Philippine Islands is under more than 50 or 25% of tropical cyclone formation, but it's now up to 50% because of the development or developing LPA 93W. Week 3, valid May 17 to May 23. The Philippine Islands will have more than uh, 65% of above average rainfall, particularly over Bicol and Visayas, more than 50% uh, across the rest of the Philippine Islands because of a possible frontal system developing and the shear line will bring some thunderstorms here. So, uh, and also it's already Agua de Mayo and we expect this uh, rainfall to be every afternoon. Okay? So there you go. That's the latest for this Wednesday through Friday. And we will return this uh, Friday or weekend to give you more updates on LPA 93W and uh, from Typhoon 2000. This is Mike Padua saying uh, good day to all. Stay safe always. Be hashtag Budweiser. And uh, thank you so much for watching our channel.